Hello and welcome to my humble YouTube channel. I am a Phenom of Phenom Studios here to, to do another Draw with Jim Lee video. In this video, you're gonna see me watch Jim Lee draw his awesome creation, uh, a popular character that we all probably like, and I'm just gonna draw with him and do my best to follow along and and um, duplicate what he's doing because his drawings come out amazing. As you can see, I've got a few back here that I've done. Uh, they come out pretty cool. I, li I love the style. I, I like his uh, the effects he, he puts on the drawings. And um, you're just gonna see me draw with them, and I'm, it's gonna be a speed drawing. And uh, throughout the video, I'm gonna pop in and commentate throughout the speed drawing and kind of break things down and give my two cents into what what's going on in the drawing or my thoughts. So without further ado, let's just get right into it. I've done enough talking and let go. Hey guys, so the first thing I do with these drawings is I'll skip to the end of the Jim Lee video and see what the finished artwork looks like so I know how it fits on the page. Because a lot of times if I, uh, if I just start drawing with them uh, right off the bat, I will do it too small, if I drawing too small, too big, or too much to the left, right, whatever. I'll just skip to the end of the video, see what the finished product looks like so I can get it as perfect as possible. It doesn't always turn out like that. Sometimes it'll still go off but it's, it's more accurate than if I didn't do it that way. So yeah, I do that, and then uh, I had a little trouble with the penciling at first. I kept erasing the face, uh, but eventually got it. I was really happy with the outcome of this, because I've never done a reptile-type monster before, because I don't know how to do scales, and Jim Lee showed me some really cool um, techniques like you're seeing right now with, with the dabbing of the tissue and ink to make the scaling effect. Very awesome. And it turned out really good. It's crazy because uh, when, when you throw down ink like that it just looks like a horrible mess and um, if, if you didn't know you'd just think that the drawing just went to complete crap but you just have to trust the process. As you see, it's starting to come together. You take those blobs of black and then you start, uh, you know, hardening the edges and making them crisp and turning them into something. And then later on, you're going to see when the whiteout comes into play and then this adds a lot more to it. I'm so glad I bought that whiteout, man. Uh, it, it's so helpful. Before I was I was using white paint and, and a paintbrush, a little cheap paintbrush, and then I found out the exact tools that Jim Lee uses: the black ink and the whiteout, and I bought it off Amazon, and it helps so much more. With the whiteout, you can you can correct things, fill in highlights, and just complete completely just fix total mess ups. You saw that you see the scales next to his cheekbone. Uh, I filled that in and I found that too bright and then you'll see me darkening it up later on. I go over with like some old tissue or something and just try to rub it in. Uh, rub out the highlight, not make it so bright. Well guys, I hope you like that drawing. It is right here. I highly enjoyed doing this Killer Croc. <clears throat> it was cool learning how to do the textures of the scale scales. I don't think I've ever had to do scales before, so um, you know, live to Jim Lee to teach me something new. Uh, I pretty much learn. I'm always learning something new when I watch these Jim Lee Jim Lee videos. So this was really cool doing the scales. Also love the pose. Um, right now, in my art career, I can't really draw things with motion. I mean, I can, but it won't look good like this. Anytime Jim Lee draws something, it, it's like there's motion to it and there's expression to it. Beginning artists, we we draw things very stiff, you know? So I, I, I'm, I'm really happy with this pose and how it came out. And the blood's cool. Please let me know what you think of the drawing in the comment section below. Also hit the like button, I would highly appreciate that. Any kind of 
interaction you do with the video helps the YouTube algorithm for me and it'll help me grow. I'm a new YouTuber, I'm still figuring this out. If you have any suggestions on what other videos I can do or how to make these strong videos better, let me know your input, good or bad. Please uh, let me know what you think. I highly appreciate anything you do, anything you guys do. Well, for this video, uh, I am done. Thank you guys for watching. That's all next time. Fina, I'm out.